So to begin with properties of expected value, here is one of the simplest property that's out there. Given a random variable x and a constant c, the expected value of c is equal to c. We will use this from time to time in applications. You will hear the phrase the expected value of a constant is a constant and it is referring back to this result. The proof in this case is for a continuous random variable x, but the proof that you see here would be modified just slightly for a discrete random variable x. These integrals would just be replaced with summations and the, the proof would go along the same lines. Since all probability density functions sum to 1, the expected value of c is, and you'll see when we calculate the expected value of c using a definition that's uh, coming up in a few slides, whatever is inside of these braces here goes out front of f of x dx. We've seen that when there's a random variable x here, but the same applies when you have a constant c. So this is the integral over the support, and since this is a general result, I'm just going to go all the way from negative infinity to infinity, because that's going to cover everything, of c times f of x dx. Well, this constant c does not involve x, so it can be pulled out front of the integral. And now you have the integral from minus infinity to infinity of f of x dx. Now, all probability density functions have to integrate to 1, so this integral turns out to be just 1, which means the expected value of c is c, and we have proven the result.